open when the plague ends. A week, a month. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes. Many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing. But think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Who are the Scoyatal? Terrorists, or firebrands you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Will I find any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own. Or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Yes? Let's talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some ore. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly, uh, legal, but, uh, I really need the gold. This grease improves the quality of rusty weapons. It's lard and some other ingredients. Listen. Be alert. I've got work to do. Army life tough. I've got work to do. look like one to be lucky at love, but I wager your luck excels at dice. I know a bit about the game. Sir, I wouldn't cheat you. An honest game's what I propose. Honest? Why choose me? No one else is willing to sit down with you. Risk is your daily bread, that's clear. I'd consider it an honor to play you. My pouch is as empty as a smith's bellows. The peasants round here have nothing but cabbage to wager. A hunter! A worthy opponent used to fancy a game, but I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not surprised. I don't doubt you fleeced him. To be frank, he loved high stakes, yet the dice disliked him from the outset. Who is this hunter you played? 
Must have been quite a lover, for I've never seen such ill luck on a man. He lost a lot of orans. Watch out. Love wanes. He'll be back for his gold. I think not, sir. You could smell the loser in him a mile off. The debts must be keeping him away. Can you make a good living at dice? That depends entirely on who one plays, sir. The wages are certainly larger in Vizima. And where in Vizima would I find someone willing to play? If your money pouch is bursting, try the new Naracourt. You might also choose the hairy bear, if you have the nerve. Farewell. I'm forced to sell my goods out here. Bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Rob me in broad daylight! Go ahead! What are you peddling? My life! Be alert. Fresh graves. Plague must have visited. I'm wasting time. Ah, oh, my stomach hurts, cursed witch. Ah, oh, my stomach hurts, cursed witch.
Oh my, a witcher. Welcome. What happened to the man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover. What do you want? I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Bargast skulls? Not yet. Hurry then. Thank <laughs> you. 